Magic bartenders? Give me that. <laughs> Duck. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Welcome back to Pop Tales. This is the third part of our three part trilogy called The Cameraman and Classics. Mm. Um, how are you enjoying your time? I am really enjoying my time. Are you time. going to miss the lack of abuse that you've had over the last three weeks? Mm, yes, I am. Very much. Actually, Tough shit. <laughs> right, Let we're we having. <laughs> we're making the Negroni. Go! Um, we're going to make a Negroni today. Yay. Actually, to be to be more comically accurate, we're going to make three Negronis today. So, we, as usual, we're going to start with the. What are we going to start with? Well, we're going to start with the glass. Oh right, where are they? They're a bit further away. Ah. Start with the classics. Okay. Why not? We're going to go with a traditional three part. Right. Guess who's back? Back again. Goku's back. Sponsor. No, we're just kidding, but seriously. Wow. <laughs> Campoli! And then this stuff. But let's not pass let's not look over the main uh, the main players of this team. The LeBron and uh, Pippin, this, this, if you will. You you <laughs> <laughs> There are going to be so many basketball fans out there. Just you have picked two, two very, very, very good players who have nothing to do with each other. <laughs> you know, you were so close. I was so excited when you were like LeBron, and and then you were like Pippen. I was like Pippen. <laughs> a good one, a, a current event one would be LeBron and Anthony Davis. The reference, by the way, was Scotty Pippen and Michael Jordan. Ah, right. Would have thought you could have nailed. Michael Jordan. <laughs> right, anyway, Roku Gin's back. It's an unopened bottle for the next sort of five seconds. Alright, uh, we're gonna go 111. 111. Yeah. Ah! Uh, ah, uh, in these eyes first. Pop quiz! Okay, hit me. Right, first of all, what order do you put your alcohol in? From cheapest to most expensive. Correct. Yay. What order? Give me a shot. There's a group of loud teenagers going past. Yeah. I'm leaving all of this in so that if they ever watch it, they'll know that I want them dead. I, I, you know what? I hope they, I hope they do watch it, and I hope they subscribe. But okay. they're not allowed to make the drinks unless they're very good. Good save. Okay, so now it's. Ooh. That is my favourite sound, by the way. It's a, a fresh opening up. Yeah. Go a single shot. Single shot of Campari. Campari. Roku! Son of Goku. Isn't the son of Goku... Gohan? Gohan. And Goten. He has two sons? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Oh, watch more Dragon Ball. Yeah. That's a big Oh. We used dry vermouth. We did. Oh, I would wager that that probably needed... Ah, oh, shot of sugar too. We, that's store-bought sugar syrup. No, this, this is housemate. Oh, that's housemate. It's in a store-bought bottle. Oh, okay. But I made it at the bar at TJ Spencer's, which I've forgotten to do for the last two episodes. Oh, probably. Um, that is a basic Negroni. So give that a taste. Tell us what you think while I do this. Magic. I don't think there's been a drink that you haven't made, that we haven't made on this show, that I haven't liked. Uh, yeah, Negroni. Um, in, in fairness, how does that taste? It tastes good. It tastes sharp. Is that the right way to kind of uh, describe a Negroni? Sharp? Yeah, it's, it's, Negroni's a bit, that's, that's what they are. They definitely needed the sugar syrup I put in. Mm. But otherwise, that is delicious. That's a classic Negroni. Actually, does it get, is there much of a change, like a difference in taste when you put the orange slice in? Uh, you get more orange because you can smell the orange as you um, do it. Um, I don't know if we we will do a whiskey episode one day. We've been talking about doing that for a long time since before we started filming mm. the show. Um, but yeah, we will do a whiskey episode one day, and in that we will probably go into more detail about um, the effect of nose on palate. I feel like Something. that. I'd like to point out that when we do it, when we say we'll do a whiskey episode, we will do a whiskey episode because we like whiskey. We are not whiskey experts. No, no. Uh, 
but I feel by like any we stretch of the imagination. That whiskey episode, I feel like that will be like a podcast. It like, will be a long episode. There will probably be a special guest. I know who it will be, but I can't say it. We're guaranteed. Right. So that is a classic Negroni. Right. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to do a coffee Negroni. Coffee Negroni. Coffee Negroni. Okay. Now. I'll put the guys. What you explain? There are multiple ways of doing this. Um, some will replace the vermouth. Yeah. Some will go 50-50. Yeah. I like to go 50-50. Yeah. Because I think that the vermouth helps make the Negroni. That doesn't taste as well if you take that out of it. So it stops being a Negroni. If you cut back on the vermouth, yeah. and then you add your coffee liqueur, which is a hard fun fact is how you make a coffee Negroni, then it will still be a Negroni. Right. To me. Okay. I feel like a cocktail is a cocktail. It has set ingredients. Right. An old fashioned is bitters, whiskey, chips. Yeah. Right. Without it, right, it's not an old fashioned. Right. If you take the bitters out it's not an and you put something else in it, it becomes something else. Right. Otherwise, all cocktails are just old fashions. I've changed the ingredients. Espresso martini is an old fashioned. I just changed the ingredients. Because old fashions were like the first. Old fashions are one of the first. Yeah. The name old fashioned, because it wasn't originally called an old fashioned, it was just called a cocktail, a whiskey cocktail. The phrase old fashioned comes from people who started going into bars after cocktails became a thing, going, I just want an old fashioned cocktail. Ah, hence the old fashioned. Hence the old fashioned. Right. History yeah. lesson aside, let's, uh, let's do this. We're going to go. We are going to go gin first. Right. Make my own rules. Right. And we're going to go campery. Right. Then you're going to go half. Half of that. Would you like me to slow down? It is all good. So, one. One Campari. One Campari. So we're going to get half of that. I'm going to throw half of that. Half a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for specifying that. I don't think half of this will fit in there. Right, that's got the color in it. Yes, it does. Add obligatory orange wedge. You may now taste the bride. Actually, that's kind of gross. You may now drink the drink. You may drink the drink. No, you do taste the bride, I suppose, on a wedding day. <laughs> Sometimes twice. I quite like that one. Have you ever had a coffee in your before? No, I have not. Oh, that's well, the that's, first that's, time that is an interesting, uh, it's an interesting flavor. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I need to do a backwards taste. Yeah, no, that's a coffee in a granny. That one is a lot less more in your face than that one, but that one has a bit more of like a sweet tooth to it. Yeah, no, they're, they're definitely, adding the coffee makes it better. Yeah. Obviously, because even if you use a sweet coffee liqueur, it's going to be um, more bitter because coffee is a bitter flavor. Yeah. But we do have one more to make. Oh, we do. Class. Yay. That's right. it. <laughs> That's... <laughs> All right, I'll do one more. Okay. Alright, uh, Jin, you put it on the wrong side of the camera. Well, you're on, you're really far. Ah, <laughs> uh, but this needs ice. <laughs> you're not forgetting ice. Okay. Jin. Yeah. Ah! Yeah, yeah. Uh. You are going to put gin in it. I am. Yeah. But not that one. Oh. We have more small mouth. This is gin. Okay, so they do vodkas and gin. I, I don't know if I made it very clear last week, but they do do vodkas and gin. Mm -hmm. This, I know it says butterfly pea gin on it, mm -hmm. is a blood orange gin. It looks really nice. I feel like The it's... smell. Mm. All right, so what we are going to do is we're going to use this for a negro. Right. Because that'll add the extra. So Campari is an orange liqueur. Right. It's a very, it's a bitter orange liqueur, but it's an orange liqueur. Yeah. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use this, which is slightly sweeter than the average one. Right. And we're going to use the Campari, which would, should make it extra orange. So what we're basically doing is the orange ultimate Negroni. I like that actually. I want you to put a shot of this in, and for me to turn the sound off my phone. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a shot. We, we yeah, go full shot. Okay. We are going to go with the traditional 111. We're just going to change the gym. While we're waiting, uh, if you go to Google and you Google small mouth gin or vodka, mm -hmm. uh, it will come up. They're a Hunter Valley based distillery. I know I told you all this last week. 
Um, they are really, really good and they're a local business and you should definitely support them and get some of their stuff. Um, there are multiple stuff you could use. Obviously, this one will be really good for a Negroni, I think. You'll be able to find that in a minute. Um, we have done an apple teeny on the channel before, yeah. but there is a they do an apple vodka that would make a really good apple teeny. Yep. Um, I have tried it, it's very nice. Uh, I may do a small math episode if I can convince them to sponsor us. Very nice. Man, their, their drinks just look so nice. And they taste good. And they taste good. That's a good I mean that's also a good part of it as well. Smell them now. You can have the first. You can have the first. Thing. Really? Yeah, you can have the first. Thing. All right. Thank you. Oh, go on then. Dude. Is that your favorite one? Yeah. That's the winner. That's the winner already. I don't even need to go back and like do retakes. So that's already a winner. That is good. They're onto something. They're actually, this is actually really good stuff that we've got so that far. Is, that is delicious. This is two weeks in a row where that has been my favorite cocktail. Right, so yeah. that is a very, very, very intense orange flavor. Yeah. It's kind of bitter, but not too bitter. Mm -hmm. And it's got that sweet sort of back to it, so it takes away a lot of the burn. Yeah. That is one of my favorite, if not my favorite Negroni ever. Yeah. And I've had a lot of Negronis. And a lot of Negronis. But... Sorry. We'll have to cut. I've had a lot of Negronis. <laughs> Go to Small Mouth if you like the flavors buy them i guarantee you they're nice they look cool and if you're looking for an idea these are classic right classic cocktails if you're doing a cocktail party or something and you just want something quick and easy to whip up bang three shots you go vermouth campari gin done you can add a bit of Kahlua to make it sort of spicy do a little bit different that's fine that is good for anything you can drink that alone you can drink it in the bars you can drink it with friends you can do it that also, because of the glitter, and it goes all shiny, would be great for Dungeons and Dragons. It would be. Oh my god, that'd be fantastic for Dungeons and Dragons. I'm doing it for Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah? Yeah. Sweet. Right, that's fantastic. This, look, this series has been actually really enjoyable. I, no, no, I've um, enjoyed being I'm, I've, really I've cool. enjoyed having you on this side of the camera. Thanks, man. Um, you are going back on the other side of the camera next week. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, just so you know. Um, so this has been Classics with... Yeah, cameraman and classics. Um, thanks for coming. Thanks for having me, man. Well, thanks for being on this side of the camera. You come every week. So. I do. Um, I'm glad you've enjoyed it. So, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm at Real Talk Rice. If you want to follow me on Twitter, I'm at Review by Lynch. If you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, I'm at Jared Kiddo. Uh, Real Talk is on Twitter at Real underscore Pop. We're on Instagram at Real Talk underscore Pop Culture Discussions. We're on YouTube at Spotify at Real Talk Pop Culture Discussions. We are on twitch.tv forward slash Real Talk PCD Gaming. And as always, guys, keep it real. And stay sexy. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And drink safe. Drink safe.